Right, a couple of months ago I showed how I made this one here, this Heron engine, and it was relatively successful, although it was hard to actually get going. And then I bought this one from Banggood, and now I've made up another one. Um, I wanted to get one that runs really well and for a long time, and this one does it. So I made the main part, the stem here, out of an old Marks and Spencer table lamp. It did have a Corinthian um, style column there, which I've taken off, and I put a thicker tube on this one. And then on the Myford ML7, I locked the spindle up with the indexing system, and then did equally spaced holes all the way down the tube here, an inch apart so that I can make adjustments if I want to make any future engines. I found this lightweight ball, I think it's off the top of some sort of furniture, probably a brass a bedstead or something, and then the only part that I actually bought was the tubing here, this copper tubing, and obviously the silver solder which must be used on these um, connections here. Um, otherwise, if you use the ordinary solder, that will actually break or melt when it's in use. So you have to use silver solder here only. Another thing that I think is a good requirement of an engine of this type, this Heron or Hero engine, some people call them, is that they start up without any um, pushing or any prompting in any way. And I used a very small round nosed milling cutter to put a couple of indents in the bar here and I've made it long enough so that I can actually just bend it up slightly like that to actually take the engine out to fill it up. I'll show you how um, I've made this one in a minute after I've um, run it for a bit. So that's one of the main important things with these engines is to get a really good free movement with the actual bearing. So the main part of the engine is finished, there's a hole here where the um, cable went into the light and I might incorporate uh, the use of that hole um, to actually make a burner um, out of brass which goes under it. At the moment I'm just using this temporary um, jar here with a bit of uh, cotton wool in it and the um, lamp oil or whatever. But I think I will make a proper burner for it to finish it off. So it took the best part of a day to actually make this um, steam engine out of the bits and pieces that I've acquired from car boot cells and recycling centres or whatever. I collect up all types of bits and pieces and then pull out what I want when I actually need it. And I haven't got the patience or the equipment really to actually build anything more technical. Um, like the other steam engines people make, the really um, tip top technical ones. This type of thing really suits me. I like something really simple and that I can actually finish within a day or two. So now let's see how it performs. The water level is about up to about there, just below the actual pipe, so it's quite a weight of water in there, but it still works perfectly like that. And when I made these copper uh, pipes, obviously they've got to be exactly the same length, and all I did was squash the ends in here on the vise, and sucked on them with my mouth um, each one to see that it gave the same sort of resistance.
And that's the longest I've had one running so far. So like on the Banggood one, you can actually make them with very small jets to go on the end there, but I don't think that's necessary for something like this one. Like I said, I squashed the end of the um, pipe in a vise and then uh, squashed it the other way very slightly. You can put a needle in there um, and squash around the actual needle if you want to, to actually get the jets like that. But what I do is, um, like I say, flatten it just on the end and then squeeze it the opposite way in the vise and I do each one um, then suck on the end of um, each one with my mouth and I can actually feel when it's exactly the same sort of um, pull of air on each one and that's how you get it nicely balanced and it is critical to actually get that running lovely and smooth like that So it's a very simple design really, it's um, just a threaded rod that goes right the way through the ball. I've um, threaded this end here and it's a 4BA thread on the actual rod and I had to make it obviously as lightweight as possible. So that's the rod coming through. And then I made this disc here out about a 0.9 uh, millimeter of um, brass plate and turned a little uh, rim there and soldered that on. Um, the solder lasts all right up on the top here because it doesn't get actually hot enough to actually melt that. And I put a rim of solder around that so that produces um, a bit of a seal. So that one goes on the top like that. Then I've got the gasket, then the nut, obviously I put water in it and then just tighten that up enough like that and then I put the o-ring into the actual groove under the lid there. And that makes a really good seal. Um, obviously the lead seal um, isn't enough to actually seal it perfectly. This seals it, but also it creates a bit of a safety valve if anything was to go wrong. So it could actually blow that O-ring out to release any pressure. So now I'm gonna put some water in it. And then I'm going to put one of these silver stickers on the top here and using my RPM tester or tachometer I'm going to see what reading we get on the actual RPM as a matter of interest. Incidentally the um, rod is threaded this end here and it has a knot on there as well so it's actually uh, cramped or clamped in between um, both nuts I won't put too much in there So if the sticker stays on it'll all be good and well. So I'll just put it up over the top a bit as well. It might actually burn off. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm using this um, biofuel here, spirit fuel, it's bioethanol and um, that's for using in trangers and uh, camping stoves or whatever So I'm really pleased the way it's turned out and I actually really enjoy making things like this up out of um, other bits and pieces. So when you're out and about it's actually worth collecting all the brass bits you can get hold of um, cheaply at car boot sales or recycling centres or the charity shops or whatever and make up lovely items like this.